Right, my friends, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction video. Today, the title of this video suggests we're looking at a Vikings player. He's on the defensive side of the ball. His name is, if I can just uh, check that again, Eric Kendricks. The only thing that comes to mind is a purple uniform, of course, and long curly hair. And if that's the case, I've seen him before. He's officially come in at number 70 on the list of the top 100 players of 2021. Uh, there is absolutely no time to lose. But before we get into the video, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm gonna show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minnett. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this. Yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards. It's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it, of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five-star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45-day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob. Use code Jacob for 10% off. And I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use. Guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be carrying something like this around anymore. Cheers, guys. And enjoy the video. Right, guys. It's uh, time to get into this. Stafford looks left. Fires to the center of the end zone. Enters. He indeed does have long curly hair. Kind of a route that they wanted to throw to Hawkinson. It's the out and then the up where the We've seen TJ Hawkinson. Tight end fakes like he's gonna run it out and then tries to bend it underneath the goalpost. And Eric Kendricks was all over that. He saw that coming, ran that route for the tight end. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, that's genetics. The tight end was just too long, too slow. But let's figure out exactly when Kendricks turns. Does he have some ground to make up? Or is he always in front of the attacker? And then tries to bend it underneath the goalpost and Eric Kendricks. Okay, so he's tracking the tight end. The tight end really has no interest in Kendricks at all. Due to the fact that whatever happens, he's going to run his route. And that's that. But as far as Stafford is concerned, I'm going to say he'd be better off targeting the running back crossing across the middle. Number 33. Anyways, Hawkinson has turned, Kendricks has as well. They're both looking for the ball now, and it's basically a matter of who's going to get there first. All over that. He saw that. There was really only one option. Ran that route for the tight end. Oh, Eric, fix it. He's a good player, man. He's a really good player. A really good player, a multiple entry in the top 100 list. EK, um, I mean, he means a lot to all of us. Um, he's pretty much the leader of our of our team um, with everything. Let me say this, Eric Kendrick's pass defense has been unbelievable. It's not often you see Derek Henry getting a pass, but to hear that he's a real leader in there and quite possibly the captain of the defense, let's look him up. Eric Nathan. M. Kendricks is an American football middle linebacker for the Minnesota Vikings. He played college football at UCLA. He won the Buckus Award for the nation's top collegiate linebacker and received All-American honors. He was drafted by the Vikings in the second round with the 45th overall pick of the 2015 NFL Draft. He's listed as being six foot tall and 232 pounds. He's got fairly decent pre-draft measurables. 461 for the 40 yard dash, 414 for the 20 yard shuttle, 714 for the three cone drill, 38 inches on the vertical jump, 10 foot four on the broad jump, and 22 reps on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking beast. His 461 40 yard dash was one of the fastest times among linebackers at the 2015 combine. 
At the conclusion of the pre-draft process, he was ranked as the top inside linebacker prospect, the second ranked inside linebacker by NFL analyst Charles Davis, the third best linebacker by Sports Illustrated, and was ranked um, and was ranked the fourth best linebacker prospect by NFL analyst Mike Mayock. So we've got first, second, third, and fourth, and he actually went 45th. Interesting. During his 2020 season, there is only one line, and we have seen that interception already. In week number nine against the Lions, he recorded his first interception of the season off a pass thrown by Matthew Stafford. And if we look at his stats for last year, he played 11 games, had 107 combined tackles, 69 solo, 38 assisted, six passes deflected, three interceptions in all, so we got he must have got two more somewhere, bringing his career total interceptions to seven. No forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries. And with a solid season of over 100 combined tackles, he's landed himself at number 70 on the list. Eric Kendricks in the passing game is such a huge, huge asset for this Vikings defense. I've seen him jump stick routes in practice. I've seen him jump whip routes. And it's knocked away Kendricks on a fantastic linebacker drop. I see him catch a one-hand pick one time in practice. He's a hell of an athlete. Here's a deep shot from Aaron. Bounces off Devontae Adams incomplete. How about Eric Kendricks? What happened there? Aaron bounces off Devontae Adams incomplete. How about Eric Kendricks? So he goes step for step to break up that pass on Devontae. Literally step for step. Look at their feet. It's left foot and right foot, but it is in sync. And it looks, if nothing else, strange. Kendricks. So he goes step for step to break up that pass on Devontae Adams. Kendricks gets the ultimate kind of respect. Opponents want to know exactly what he's doing. How did uh, 54 play that twice? With fantastic speed, Kendricks has great wheels. Yeah, wait. We love car. <coughs> so that's what he spent his money on. Wow, wait. So of his, of his 5.15 million dollar contract that included 2.67 million guaranteed and a signing bonus of 2 million, seems he spent a few of those dollars on a car, oh, which looks fast. like a Porsche. Cars. Uh, he was just talking to me about, I think, a Ferrari. I don't even know the name of the cars. I'm not used to foreign cars. But uh, he was. Just <laughs> Man, I love this guy. I got to admit, the more I see this guy, the more I'm a fan. He doesn't know a lot about exotic cars, but I'm led to believe he does know how to play pool. Just sitting there telling me everything about it, as far as in the engine, what type of brakes. I'm just like, man, you should sell cars when you retire. But nah, all jokes aside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is. I think it's just a general attitude, a general aura around Zadarius that um, I don't know about you guys, but it just makes me happy. He's damn sure the quarterback of the defense because he does everything. And he's coming downhill, you know, making plays in space. He's covering backs out the backfield. He's about 240, and, you know, he, he doesn't play that way. Thrown down with a half-yard loss by Kendricks, who could smell him all the way. It's, it's weight that's very, very well distributed across his body. Kendricks, who, as you said, is flying sideline to sideline. That's another guy, you know, up under the radar that a lot of people don't talk about enough. And he makes plays every time he's on the field. Throws over the middle. Intercepted Eric Kendricks. Well, he's definitely. Well, there's another one. Got always, you know. Top of the leader so far, they line back. Play action out of the shotgun. Oh! Over the middle. And there's a third. And they were officially his three 2020 interceptions against the Lions, the Panthers, and the Cowboys. Interception. You heard the endless scream because Eric Kendricks left his feet like Superman. He may not be Superman, but he's as strong as steel and he can fly. And moving up 13 spots from last year means respect is revving up for a backer whose bite is bigger than his bark. <laughs> oh, what a sad guy. What a sad guy. But before we go, I want to bring your attention to one thing and one thing in particular. The way that he catches this pass, the pass is thrown at such velocity that not only does he have to catch it, but he has to absorb the force, right? So he's going up and, you know, initiating the catch here but it's not eventuating it's not finishing 
until back here. So that, so that whilst diving in the air, having no grounding, having no center of gravity, to not only make that play, absorb the force of the ball, but take the clean catch. That's what we're about to see here. Like that. That was in his fingertips. That is officially between fingertips. Look at that. Look at that. That is the moment I'm talking about. He's off the ground. There's absolutely no stability. And he still managed to just, just take that catch. Superman. He may not be Superman. But he's as strong as steel and he can fly. And moving up 13 spots from last year means respect is revving up for a backer whose bite is bigger than his bark. Respect. Respect to the man. And respect to this man. God, he looks good on this list, doesn't he? Jonathan Taylor. Where's he going to fall? Only time will tell. But in saying that, there we have it, another video over. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned, there's plenty more videos to come. In fact, 69 of them. So uh, in the next one, we're looking at Ryan Kelly, a center for the Colts. I would assume he's at least six foot three and over 300 pounds, but all of that and more will be revealed in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. Peace, guys.